In the movie, we are shown a woman who feels panic because it turns out that a parasite has entered and lodged in her head. After that, we are shown news about global warming that is happening around the world. From human overpopulation, vehicle fumes, melting polar ice caps to man-made chaos happening everywhere. On a hill in the northern part of the Earth, there is a man named Dr. Krupen who is conducting research together with his team. Seen there, Dr. Krupen was monitoring a polar bear who was eating, which he intends to evacuate the bear so that the bear is not affected by global warming that plagues the whole world. When they managed to anesthetize the bear, one of Dr. Krypen's team then found something under the bear's body. It turned out that the bear had just eaten a mammoth carcass frozen in the ice that had probably been there for thousands of years. Short story in a university when the students were watching a video of Dr. Krupen's research. The lecturer in the class then announced that there were several students who would be sent to participate in research together with Dr. Krupen. Elsewhere, Dr. Krupen is seen calling his daughter Evelyn and asking her to come to the North Pole by joining the group of selected students. After the phone was disconnected, Dr. Krapen then received information from one of his team members that the bear they evacuated earlier died suddenly without any cause. After seeing the state of the dead bear, Dr. Krupen then called one of his friends in the city named Bart to prevent his daughter from going to the North Pole. But it was too late because when Bart and the three selected students were about to leave for the North Pole, Evelyn came to force Bart to be allowed to go with them. Bart, who tried to prevent Evelyn from coming, finally surrendered and could not do anything to let Evelyn go with them. A few moments later, they all arrived at Dr. Creepin Research Station, and when they all entered the station, they found no one there and smelled the smell of carrion that was so very strong. Because of the dark room, Bart went to the warehouse to turn on the generator while Federico and Ling looked like they were arguing about their relationship, which turned out to be lovers. Then Evelyn, and also Adam, who tried to find the source of the carrion smell, found the fact that the smell came from a dead bear lying on a table. Adam then captured the moment with the camera he was carrying, and after he took the photo, Bart suddenly felt something had bitten him. Thinking it was just an ordinary insect, they then left the room and didn't want to think about it. They don't know what caused the bear to die, but it seems that Dr. Krupen's friends died immediately, and also Jane, an assistant to Dr. Krupen, who seemed to be suddenly sick without any cause. Moments later, Evelyn was seen calling Jane, but Jane said that Evelyn shouldn't be here because something was wrong in that place. Dr. Krupen, who knew his daughter had arrived at their station, then got angry and asked Evelyn to go home to find a safe place. Not long after that, who knows what happened, Suddenly, Jane shot Dr. Krupen and also one of his friends, which made them die instantly. In the evening, when Federico and Ling were making out in a room, suddenly an insect passed in front of them. Federico was startled with fear and then left his lover, who chose to sleep alone in the room. When they all fell asleep suddenly, there was a strange sound that made them wake up. After checking, Evelyn found someone who came and it turned out to be Jane with a dying condition. Meanwhile, in the room, Bart began to feel itching all over his hands that were bitten by insects this afternoon, as well as Ling, who was suddenly surprised because all parts of his body had red spots like he had been bitten by insects. Because of this incident, Evelyn then tried to call her father, but unfortunately there was no answer. Meanwhile, at the place where Dr. Krupen was shot, Dr. Krupen's body suddenly moved, which indicated that Dr. Krupen was still alive. Because he felt something was wrong, Bart decided to go for help. But when he was about to leave using his helicopter, the helicopter had been deliberately damaged by Jane on the grounds that they were all not allowed to leave the place. It wasn't long before Jane's condition worsened until she released a green liquid from her mouth. A few moments later, Jane finally died in a terrible condition, making them all panic because they didn't know what had actually happened. Seeing that Jane's condition might have been affected by a virus, Adam then decided to isolate the room where Jane died because he was afraid that the virus that attacked Jane would spread to all of them, because there was no help. Finally, Evelyn and also Adam decided to go to the location where Dr. Krupen did his research, and when they arrived there, they were both amazed to see a prehistoric mammoth carcass that was still intact. Carefully, Evelyn saw a kind of parasite egg inside the head of the mammoth carcass, and they both then concluded that the parasite egg melted along with the melting of the mammoth carcass they found. Then, Evelyn and Adam thought that Jane had killed the entire Dr. Krupen team for a reason. After that, 
They both rushed back to the center of the research station. Because she was curious about the cause of Jane's death, Evelyn then barged into the room where Jane's body was. Evelyn immediately examined Jane's body, and there she found a lot of parasite eggs in Jane's stomach, and the parasite eggs were exactly the same as the parasites in the mammoth head they saw earlier. Evelyn concluded that the parasite can enter the body of other living things. After that, Bart and Adam wrapped Jane's body in a sack and brought it to the same room as the corpse of the polar bear. A few moments later came Federico, who gave the news that in a few hours the rescue helicopter would come and take them to a safe place. Evelyn, who heard that, then asked them all to stay there and not go anywhere because she understood the meaning of Jane's words before she died, so that they would not leave the place. So Jane's purpose in destroying their helicopter was to prevent them from leaving the quarantined area. Jane was afraid that if one of them was infected, it would potentially transmit the parasite outbreak to many humans out there. Therefore, Evelyn asked the others to stay there and quarantine themselves. But unfortunately, the plan was not accepted by Federico, who felt that he could not stand being in that place. Evelyn then tried to explain to Federico that there was a parasite that infected the entire Dr. Kraepin team, and the parasite was also likely to have infected Ling. Bart, who heard this, then said that he had been infected by the parasite after touching the dead bear carcass yesterday. Federico still did not believe that Ling had been infected by the parasite. He then thought that maybe he was also infected because last night he had made love with Ling. Evelyn then left and quickly tried to contact the health center to report the new outbreak, but Federico prevented that by shooting their communication device until it was damaged. Federico is afraid that if Evelyn reports the outbreak, then the rescue helicopter will not come to take them home. Moments later, Ling arrived, and her body began to show the same symptoms that Jane had experienced before she died. Evelyn then checked Ling's stomach, and she found a lot of parasite eggs in her stomach. Seeing this, Bart became worried because he had also been infected by the parasite. He then asked Evelyn and Adam to cut off his hand, which had become a parasite nest. Very reluctantly, they then complied with Bart's request and amputated Bart's hand, which was filled with lots of parasites. After successfully amputating Bart's hand, Evelyn then found a note from her father in a bag. In the note, Dr. Crouppen had written information about the parasite. Then Evelyn remembers that in Jane's pocket, she found her father's camera, which most likely has footage of the parasite in the camera. But to get the camera, Evelyn had to enter the room full of parasites in order to retrieve her father's camera, which was in Jane's jacket. With makeshift security, Evelyn then entered the room containing Jane's corpse and also the polar bear, then quickly looked for her father's camera. And after going out from there, there were lots of parasites that started chasing Evelyn. One of the parasites almost entered Evelyn's body, but was caught by Adam. To make sure Evelyn's body was clean of parasites, Federico then asked Evelyn to take off all her clothes to make sure that no more parasites tried to infect them. After that, they watched the footage of Dr. Crouppen together. Moments later, they realized that the eggs of the parasite had hatched to fill the room where Jane's corpse and the polar bear were. They then decided to burn and destroy the research center, because sooner or later the parasite would invade the whole world if it was not destroyed immediately. At the same time, Ling woke up in her room full of parasites. She asked them to remove her from the room. However, because Ling was infected, Ling was forced to be destroyed as well, because they did not want to take the risk if the parasite got out and spread throughout the world. In the midst of panic, Federico shot Ling for no apparent reason. Bart, who was there, then realized that the parasite had laid eggs and spread throughout his body. Knowing this, Bart then decided to anesthetize himself and Ling so that when the research center was destroyed, they would not feel the pain of being burned. After which Evelyn and Adam try to prevent Federico from leaving there. Evelyn knows that the reason Federico shot Ling earlier was because he didn't want the others to know if he was also infected by the parasite. In the middle of the argument, Federico almost killed Evelyn and Adam, but his action was thwarted by Dr. Crouppen who suddenly appeared in front of them. Evelyn is very happy to know that her father is still alive and only received a gunshot wound to the shoulder. Short story when Adam and Evelyn were pouring gasoline into the research room, Evelyn then realized that there was something that had not been revealed. She immediately continued to watch the recording of her father, 
and they found a fact that made them surprised. It turns out that Dr. Krupin deliberately inserted the parasite into his body and wanted to spread it throughout humanity. The plan was carried out by Dr. Krupin to reduce the human population on Earth and also to teach humans a lesson that has caused global warming. Evelyn and Adam then tried to prevent Dr. Krupin's actions, but Dr. Krupin had managed to board a rescue helicopter and asked the pilot to leave immediately and quarantine the place. As the helicopter began to fly, Adam managed to grab hold of one of the helicopter's parts. He tried to tell the pilot that Dr. Krupin had been infected, but unfortunately Adam couldn't hold on anymore, and he fell from a height. This caused him to suffer severe injuries. Evelyn, who saw this, could only remain silent and think of other ways to prevent her father from escaping the area. Having no other choice, Evelyn shot at the helicopter, causing it to crash into Dr. Krupin's research center. The accident had killed Dr. Krupin, the pilot, and all the parasites in the research center. Evelyn then went to Adam, who was dying from a very severe wound. Adam finally died and left Evelyn alone. After all these terrible events, Evelyn then decided to take refuge in Bart's helicopter while waiting for another rescue team to arrive there. Then the next day, the rescue helicopter arrived and immediately took Evelyn to a safer place. At the end of the movie, we will hear Evelyn's voice from the radio. After the terrible events she experienced, Evelyn recounts information about the plague of the prehistoric parasite and her father's story in fighting about the dangers of global warming around the world. Then elsewhere, a hunter's dog was eating a bird carcass. Not long after that, the exact same parasite on the mammoth's body appears and the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video. Cheers.